Uh, we're going to go through some of the initial uh, steps of setup that you're going to do whenever you connect your AdEspresso account. Um, like I said in the video before, make sure you're using uh, the, the same email address that your profile or business manager is using on Facebook. That way we're able to go ahead and grab the campaigns um, once we go ahead and sign up initially. So once you sign up initially, you're going to be taken to a prompt screen to set up a campaign. We'll get into that in a minute, but now that we're here, we've already got a campaign draft set up. We're going to go ahead and move into settings, and in settings, we're going to look at the Facebook ad accounts. Um, what we're doing here, the purpose of this is to go ahead, and let me move this on, move it down a little bit. Uh, the purpose of this is to, we're going to take the campaign uh, that we, um, uh, that we're going to set up for, which in this case is, is, is this account right here, and we're going to do two things. One, we're going to go ahead and click on this button right here that says Import Active Campaigns. And what this is going to do is allow us to go ahead and um, uh, allow us to go ahead and pull all data from, you know, that's historically been run so that we can use them in our graphs and we can go back and, and see what's going on. Now, you're not going to be able to control those campaigns with this uh, dashboard uh, platform, but it does give you a lot of data that you'll be able to use, uh, certainly, you know, building campaigns going forward. So being a little funny here on, okay, important campaigns. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Huh. Let me, let me refresh this. It's being weird. Okay. Try it one time. Maybe I clicked too many times there. It says import of new campaigns has been disabled up there. Yeah, that's a really wacky. Code. Um, might be a bug. Um, could there be another account that we're using? Could it be this one right here? The no. Facebook ad account. No, on the bottom. It's, it's definitely on the bottom. 430? Yeah. I'm not really sure why I'm not doing that. That's interesting. Um, so that's, that's the first I've seen that. Certainly uh, bugs happen with the system. It's not flawless, but I'll try it one more time. Does it give me a success? Okay, and it's, it's saying last imported 26 seconds ago. So we'll find out. But anyhow, I want to go ahead and sync objects here. Uh, just click on this, and then let's go ahead and let's grab the pixel code that we're going to be using. So in our initial setup, one of the reasons that we're doing this is so that we can import our campaigns and go ahead and get the pixel code that we're going to broadly put all over our web pages. This is the broad code. And then once we get into building campaigns, we're going to have specific scripts that we're going to place on specific pages so that we, we can re record the actions that we're looking for in order to know what is our KPI. And our KPI stands for our key performance indicators. And those, you know, we'll get into in a later video series, but it's the numbers that you're looking for and reading and trying to uh, improve your ad cop campaigns for. So, for example, with this, the base script uh, Facebook pixel code is this right here. You can just, you know, click copy and then go and paste it onto the, uh, like the header file if you're using WordPress or, you know, if you're using uh, ClickFunnels or something like that, take it, you can, you can paste that into the, um, uh, into the, uh, the, the header file and the settings for the actual funnel. Um, but again, once we get into building out specific uh, pages with specific codes, uh, we're going to be coming here and adding them in. And I'll show you how we get that. It's very easy, um, and that's after we build the campaign, where we're able to get that. So for now, you know, one of the initial things you know, when you're setting up is to look. Let's go ahead and check out our custom audiences and see if we've got any of that pulled in. And it's looking like we've got a lot of different audiences built in um, that is pulled for. Uh, so you've got some custom list here. So you've got a lot of things that you've already built out that you're going to be able to now use and repurpose for. Um, so it did import it? That was just a bug? It's, it's showing imported. Um, now, whether it's imported the campaigns yet or not, you know, we'll, we'll check that in just a second. Let's check out your assets real quick. We've got two different accounts here, so uh, both of them are showing empty. And we should be seeing, um, you know, well, this is where 
And actually, it's not going to pull that in here. Uh, this is where we're going to be building out our custom audiences. And I want to say that it saves them just in this folder on, on your platform here. I don't think it actually loads it to Facebook. Um, it, it might, I'd have to, I have to look at that, but you know, once again, we'll get into another video on how we can add assets and how we can build audiences here. Um, and you can, of course, you know, really the best way to do it when you first set up a campaign or first set up using Adespresso is to build that first campaign and set it up on that. And we'll get into the, to that next. Um, let's go ahead and see if there's anything here that we can look at. Um, syncing wise, I, I want to say, okay, this is, if you want to, uh, if you've got a CRM, uh, you know, if you're using MailChimp, Facebook, HubSpot, all these different tools, um, you know, AWeber, uh, you're able to, to come in here and create a sync so that you're able to have real time lists that you're able to keep populated. That's a very good thing for you to do. I would recommend it. So, um, we can go into, you know, simply, you know, create the, the name that you're going to do. So let's say for you, yours is AWeber, um, you know, US list, something like that. <clears throat> we're going to create a sync and then it's going to have to, we're going to have to connect on it. Um, so we've got Facebook and then, you know, we're using AWeber and you're, wait, oh wait, let me correct myself. Are you using active campaign now? I'm using ConvertKit actually right now. So. ConvertKit. Okay. Yeah. So we got another one. Ah, so we don't have, it's not showing it. So let's sync your CRM to Facebook as well. Now, it's only showing these, the, the, the major ones. So it looks like we're not going to, you know, unless you're using one of these, it's not going to have anything to integrate with. Okay. So it's limited. Uh, so it pulls the data from, well, the, whole, from the CRM into uh, the Facebook ads to target. Is that right? Mm -hmm, yep. Okay. And we'll be able to do that. You can do that on your own manually. You can go in and, and grab your list and, and export it in a CSV file, which you can import here. Um, okay. I'm not going to go any further than that because that's not some things. Some of the things that we can take a look at real quick so you can just kind of familiarize yourself with the tools and, and initial setup is um, writing your custom algorithms and, and rule sets. Um, you know, here, I don't really want to get into this because this will be a whole other you know, subject to get into. It's a little bit more advanced, not something that we need to do just yet. Um, but what it is is basically saying it's, it's making if-then statements. Um, it's, it's like writing code for you know, software, for example. So you can say, if an ad performs this way, then I want you to do this. And um, again, this will be better safe for, for another course. Uh, we've already gone over the asset manager. Now, the product catalogs. Um, I really haven't used this much, to be honest with you, <laughs> so I couldn't really tell you. Uh, directly to Facebook, new catalogs. Okay, product catalogs, gotcha. Actually, we've, I've used this for a couple. I don't do a whole lot of um, uh, B2C e-com much anymore, uh, so that's, that's a little different when you have like a lot of inventory that you're looking to turn over. Um, a lot of the stuff that I do is, is more on the lead gen side, so certainly someone who's, you know, and you can use this to create the new catalog, I would assume. I've done it on Facebook side, I haven't, or using a CSV file, I haven't done it. If you're Facebook. doing like an e-commerce product or something like that that you're looking to sell, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've, I've done it, I haven't done it, this method, I've done it with the CSV file and doing it that way, you know, doing a data dump off the database, but um, yeah, I have never used this to, to build anything else. This would be something, once again, that probably be another good little course for me to do. But, uh, well, one other thing. We have the report generator. Um, this is good for you if you want to have you know, keep a pulse of what's going on on a daily basis, and you're able to to create it and put data however you want to put in it. It's a little bit uh, complex to sort off with right now, but we can jump into it in another course. But the idea behind it is if you want to keep a pulse on what's going on with your campaigns, you know, let's say you're not accessing this or you're doing it for a client, uh, this would be good to use it here. But if you're using the platform to build your own campaigns. Other than sending it to maybe your boss or yourself to have a record, I don't see any point. Um, so for now, you know, looking at the tools, the just initial setup, this is our main dashboard and really where you'll be doing most of your work from. Outside of the settings, which once you do your initial configuration, and like I said, unless you're doing it for multiple clients, you're going to have to only do this setup one time. And it's a simple, you know, you know obviously we have to drag it in first. I do want to make sure I point that out, David. You know, and you're just going to click Add New Facebook Account. Okay, so it's, I don't have myself registered on Facebook here, so I'm not going to be able to do that. But you as the admin of the account and the owner of the Facebook account would be able to do it. And, that's, and it would bring up this list here 
which you'd be able to then dump. But certainly importing the active campaigns, if you already have former campaigns, definitely do that as well as sync it up. Um, from my experience, this takes a little time to do. So it looks like we have one campaign here, uh, actually. Uh, so the, it, the, all the data doesn't go in immediately. It takes a little bit to load into yeah. uh, Espresso. Yeah. Okay. And it will. It, it'll, it'll, it'll show for the life of the, the campaign. But you know, once again, you, you know, we've already we've, we've just done the initial steps on this camp, this test campaign, which we'll dive into in the next video uh, and how to set up a campaign. But for now, just to get everything set up, configured, ready to use, this is what we do. So this really just takes care. Just wraps up this video.